do Chinese. I wish I knew Chinese. Brothers and sisters, settle, settle. I come to you this day with great news. My starry disciples, our search is nearly complete. Hold on, that is way too loud for me. Holy moly. For decades we've toiled and scoured and fished about this wretched continent for that ever-elusive tome, the Grimoire Eternus, the book to end all books, the storied and long fabled The Necronomicon! Yes, Sister Halo, that's that's the one. Next time maybe you let the actual cult leader speak its eternally horrible name. Yeah? Thank you. The uh <laughs> The Necronomicon! Yes! Wow. No doubt some among you. Let me lower it down more for you, because it is loud for me still. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Hold on. Say that. Question its very existence. Our is search is wide and our labor great, with as yet no return. Well, brothers and sisters. It may be that we have come upon its actual location. Uh, Brother Bright. Gregory. Gregory! We talked about this, man. This <laughs> is, brothers and sisters. Our men! And women? And women are on their way to retrieve that tome as we speak. <laughs> is this not what we've been looking for since our establishment is a legitimate death cult? Yes! Is it not in our official membership charter? Yes! Is it not we who should be the first and only to lay our hands upon it? Yes! Shall we let the abominable butcher or other lesser cults get their stinking paws on our glorious bounty now that it is so closely within our reach? Yes! No! No, 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 no. And with the Necronomicon <laughs> finally in our hands, nothing will stop the haunter from regaining his true form. No end to the work! No end to the work! So, where is it? We have found him, brothers and sisters. The man who will lead us to it. We have found him, and we watch. We watch. Well. <laughs> that was quite an intro. Is it still too loud, Killer? Let me know. Because it's better for me now, but I don't know if it's still too loud for you. Or if I'm loud enough. I need to turn myself up. I can still turn it down. Oh wow, look at that. The whole thing moves. If I move. Interessante. Yeah, I turned it down a bit in the game options. Is that better? I mean, the menu music, is it still sound blasting you? Oh, is it still blasting? Okay. Ugh. Has anybody else played this before? I'm really excited. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I seem like all like... I'm super tired. I don't feel great. But here we are. Yeah, it's new. I think it said something about it, like coming out in August or something. So it's relatively new. Or maybe that was when it... I don't know. I saw something about August. But 
Let's just go. Read all about it, sir. Hurricane Herbert, storm of the century. A storm. Hmm. That's the least of my worries. <laughs> Step aside, kid. Everything's changing. Always changing. What's a Joe supposed to do? You take a new case and it's all you can do to be prepared for whatever it throws your way. The only thing you can know is whatever it's tossed at you won't make any kind of sense but up against the last thing. It's the change, you see. I've been hired to locate some kind of ancient book. Supposed to have inside of it the kind of stuff makes the Joe's guts turn salt and sallow. Real type mystical mumbo jumbo, which I guess explains the weird occults popping up all over Darkham. You know something's left to center when the folks hiring you want to keep themselves all secret-like. Cash is cash, though, and I could really use the milk. That something doesn't change. Put some weight on my man in rare and forbiddens. The kind of pressure makes a Joe's stomach jackflip, and he points me at this dark and ancient library. Dark and ancient? Huh. What's not dark and ancient in Darkham? Most times, the new is just as bad as the old. Sometimes worse. Okay. What was that? Like a vape? <laughs> Drugs. Oh, look at the cat. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the, uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I literally, okay, okay, okay. Even more dark. <laughs> okay. So I guess I want to go up here, right? Ooh. I assume we go to him. Evening. Good evening, sir. How's things in the library business? Interesting library you've got here. Is it old? The name's Keytype? Don Keytype? Here's to see about a book. Excuse me a minute. Okay. Oh, I have to choose what I'm saying. Okay, okay. I thought he was just. The name's Katype. Don R. Katype. Here to see about a book. Well, you've come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the uh, Necronomicon. Do you have it? Oh, that book, yeah, uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Uh, why, sure. Uh, you've got your, uh, oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. <laughs> okay. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? 
Mind if I uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Warren about the rare books department, though. Uh, at the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. <laughs> You wouldn't be happening to intentionally concealing it from me, would you? I kind of want to. You uh, wouldn't happen to be intentionally <laughs> trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first to come and ask about it, and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular and existent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. <laughs> oh, hey, Justin. What can you tell me about these cultists? They come in all shapes and sizes, can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything, but you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? Look, I can tell you come from a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. <laughs> oh, really? And that, uh, different era business ain't? Touché, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it pays the bills. I'll just gotcha. leave alone. <laughs> I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that. No, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. Okay. Double click screen exit goes to teleport. Okay. Well, but maybe I want to look at that first. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. Oh. <laughs> what does the gears mean, though? It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican mysteries and all that. I don't want to trigger any hidden doors or anything. I'm just here to pick up hints. That's where folks get strange ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their bare fingers. <laughs> okay. I'll do that one. Not really my type of literature, but I can take a look at them. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. Oh shit, but no. Hiding in a plain sight instead of the plain sight. For me to be. Okay. It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. Okay, so if I look at it... It's this thing I found in the... It's this... Okay. Hi, Ham. I 
They really went out of their way to make this place as creepy as possible. No, sir. We're from different worlds, me and that thing there. I guess I could lean on it while I interrogate the librarian, but I'm naturally intimidating. <laughs> It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. Can't reach it from down here and I'm not sure I want to. But you probably do want to. Nah, I do different kinds of studying. It's a dusty old book. Its title's really hard to read. I don't need it. Okay. Do I talk to Buzz again? Not really my type of literature, but I can take a look at him. Hi, Nikki. Um, I found this game and I was researching an article for a video game company. Yeah, I like the art style of the game as well. I've never played either one of those. Um, Justin, Monkey Island, and Day of the Tentacles. I've, I've never even heard of that. It's uh, Buzz, the librarian. <laughs> I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. Muhahahaha. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? Mr. Katype! He's gone. Was that you making all that racket, Kerwin? No, Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set up a bomb in here. I, I was about to call the police. Nonsense. You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I, uh, okay, sir. Now I'm him, but this is definitely glowing now. But I'm gonna go to the shoe first. <laughs> it's Mr. Katype's shoe. Well, I feel like I should call him Don now that we've been through this together. It's Don's shoe. <laughs> it's Don's shoe. We have a shoe. It's Don's shoe. It's all he's left behind. <laughs> Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the? We're gonna throw the shoe I at it. Knock it off for sure, but I can't reach that high. Can't give him the shoe? I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Okay, so I eat. Okay. Ew! Eyeballs moving. Is Grub. is this what Dawn was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up two hundred percent. Who'd hide it up there and why? You're 
coming with me, weird book. I never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, what an evening. Think, Buzz, think. Dawn's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all We're about. Go into the bus cave. <laughs> Okay, safely home. What... what the hell was all that about? Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? What <laughs> is this book? Is there God, blood under his shoe? Myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? Uh, you're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Yeah, yeah. Kashaptu and then you read from it. Kampa, per Adonai Methatron. Oh, now you done it. Now you done it. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kitty? God, I wish you could Kitty. talk back for once. So I need to find this book so I can make Kodak talk. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 wait. Are you actually Kitty! talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? <clears throat> I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know... Analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk. I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. <laughs> but how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong. Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and reverse this. That, that should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right? I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's... There's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry. I wasn't... Considering your point of view here, do you want to be a... Talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Oh no. Wait. Uh... Which one should I do? I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Beluga? B Bal Balagu? Bill Dork. Ah. I do too. Okay, I'm gonna go with you, killer. Rabmi lo yak zi ishtari kampa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? Meow. <coughs> Darn it. Can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy. This is a problem. This is a problem. Uh, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty. Is that what I call you? Uh, 
Haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumbest name possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna... I don't even need no around? name. No, I'm gonna whack the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or something. We're not even <laughs> the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. Oh, God, no. I love it. Okay, so that's... Remains of cake. Well, let's look at this first. What? Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. Please don't drag me into your immaturity. <laughs> That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Not on your life, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. I never eat Lemon's cooking. He put stuff in food. Weird stuff. Why did you have it at all? Completely useless right now. Well, whatever then. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's a lot kind of going on. I didn't... Go, kitty. I don't think I'll bother her about it. No it. use. It's dead. But it's plugged in. That's Ron Dilbert. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. That's Kitty. My, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know. Not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. <laughs> Let him know. It's an embarrassing baby picture. Move on. <laughs> it's so cute, though. Nah, I don't need it. <gasps> don't you ever even say that again? Hey, Kitty. Think you can uh, open that oven for me real quick and, and take a peek inside? Sure thing, boss. As soon as I grow opposable thumbs. You're going to have to man up and do it yourself. Come on, Buzz. You can do it, dude. Uh, I can? Yeah, it's just fear. Stupid fear. Yes, and fear is the path to the dark side. Fear Fire starter, leads to hi. anger. Anger. Open the damn oven, Kerwin. Yeah, yes. Yep. <laughs> I did it. Hey, and there's Lemon's key. Oh, and there's a cookie in here. A suspicious one. Well, sweet. <laughs> Except this cookie. <laughs> That's good. I think I'll take it, you know, for sustenance. Ugh, I would not recommend you eat that. I'll take it either way. I will. Ew, yeah, that doesn't look good. That's our tiny fridge. Hey, it's not completely empty. It's a can of Dr. Fisher, produced exclusively with fish materia water. That ensures my lips will never go anywhere near it. Thank you. I'm gonna grab this. Thank you, Wiz, for hosting. Okay. Get it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs. Gonna grab this for a while. Okay. A 
Is there something else in the fridge I need to look at? It's usually either full of Lemma's dubious cooking or completely empty. Okay. So I think I've pretty much done everything. But what the heck is this? Very suspicious cookie. Effects remain to be determined. For some reason, I picked up this can of the Phallus soda widely available. <laughs> okay. It's our one and only trusty lighter. All right. Hey. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Uh, just a figure of speech. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's pretty much all we can do in here. Right? What's, what's with this blood mark on the ground? Are we just not going to talk about that? or I guess that's normal around here. Beyond this impenetrable portal adorned with god-awful decorations lies Lemon's Shangri-La. I can squeeze under doors. Lemon knows that. He made this door particularly unsqueezable under, remember? Oh, yeah, he did do that. Lemon's locked the door when he left for that esoteric retreat, and of course he has no phone signal or internet. Great. I opened a whole wall. I have a feeling somewhere inside this horribly over-decorated piece of furniture lies what we're looking for. TV. It's one of those licky, all, 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 uh, tiny, cute guitars. It's a book Lemon left open. Well, let's see here. Page on the left says a compass is a magnetized pin floating in a solution. It's not the 1700s anymore, Lemon. Jeez, what a Luddite. <laughs> okay. No need. I, I can read it myself. Oh, so I'm sure we light it. We're probably going to light things this. things whose purpose is to be lit up, this one scares me the least. Do I look like a lighter to you? So she'll give me like hints about certain things. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that's gaudy. Hey, looks like there's something under this. Okay, so lift it up. What do you know? A pair of scissors. I think it's supposed to be a fertility idol. Kinda scary if you ask me. Like actually, We thankfully have no need for it. Is there anything else? Oh. My eyes. They water. <laughs> Alright, Kitty. I have a feeling the notebook we're looking for is somewhere inside this locked closet. I didn't know we were looking really for a notebook. A way to open it. Couldn't you just randomly combine some household items into a makeshift key or something? Uh, I'm sure I could, but I was thinking maybe you could shoulder this particular burden. <sighs> Let's not make a habit of this. Ugh, this patchouli sink is giving me dizzy spells. Oh, here it is. I haven't done that since I was a kitten. Still got it. <laughs> Uh, the pages are all blank. What am I missing here? No, back to play. Well, why did I even light this? What was the purpose to that? I don't want to burn my delicate fingertips. 
Do I burn it? Let's moderately heat this baby. Yes. Would you look at that? Lemon, one too many cheesy detective novels. All right, kitty. Now let's see this list here. <laughs> Ooh, I think I got it. How's VG for all your supernatural needs sound? And there's the address. We're practically neighbors. It's the best option we've got so far. Uh, there's something I'm not sure I mentioned before. This detective that was looking for the Necronomicon, Don, got kidnapped right in front of me. Oh, right. You've mentioned it. Let's go. But we've <laughs> got to try and rescue him. All right. Do you know who kidnapped him? Uh, I guess Good we even. have no Hello. lead yet. Lead. Sam Spade over here. You know how you humans always stereotype us as being selfish? Uh, sorry about that. Don't be, because in my case, that's exactly how it is. I'm sorry, but I could give a kitten's fluffy tail about your detective friend. My main worry right now is my own predicament. Why didn't you call the police or something? Oh, Darkham PD, only the most corrupt and despicable organization in town. Makes these cultists look like fuzzy bunnies nibbling on baby carrots by comparison. No, we're on our own. Interesting imagery. Anyway, your friend Don's on his own too. It's a catty cat world out there. How about we keep him as objective B, all right? Whatever makes me A works for me. Let's roll, Marlo. He's very sassy. <laughs> oh, all she's right, not Kitty. creepy. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry and I'm afraid my fur is going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova! Let's get on with it. Rare. <laughs> <laughs> A weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I'm not scared or anything. I just don't. You you talk to her, okay? <laughs> hey, little girl, what are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy, what are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh, Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. Huh. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well, don't be. Drop my fishy in that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too, soon. Not until I get my Fishy! <laughs> What's so special about that fishy? Fishies Hi, Metal are the greatest, you ignoramus! Plus, it's my fishy. It's right, my right, settle fishy. Settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishmas soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. <laughs> you know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark-haired little girl, standing in the middle of the street at night, holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? Nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is, I'll give you that. So, you're just, uh, standing there, huh? People tend to 
can't do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there, clicking their little lies away. Okay. <laughs> okay. The fishies right there. I can't reach it from down here. Hey, hey, go. Kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the typical Dang. picture that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. Jeez. Who has a fish doll? Kitty. Stop being a poop head. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. But what is it? Wouldn't know what to do with it. It doesn't look like it'll snap me back to cathood, Buzz. About to... I don't even know. <laughs> it's the door to the fishery. It's closed and locked. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. <laughs> Ugh, never huh. could stand fish. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what... I like that glass right there between those monstrosities and me. What? Okay. Go get it! Hey, kitty, how much... Well, you gotta ask... Uh, see? Don't ang... Come on, Buzz. Don't you... You mean that... Your heart... Okay. Don't try to flatter me. Right. Not a clue why I do that. It's not tempted by my cookie. About the scissors. They won't help in this situation. <sighs> used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Oh. Kid A has no use for that walled archway. What about us? Back then, door. Now, wall. Okay. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't wanna. <laughs> no thanks, I'll stick around for now. Man, that's one attractive dude. Ayo. Get it yourself. You can reach it. Okay. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. <laughs> okay. It's a picture of a male model I picked up from the street. The, the picture, that is. <laughs> what the heck do we do with that? Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. Thank you for your sacrifice, Christopher Valiant. Christopher Valiant is an okay guy. They're happy. <laughs> Can we combine things? Can I cut I don't want to cut Mr. Handsome over here. <laughs> uh, no, I think I want it in one piece. Okay, so I can combine items. Cool, cool. Showing a male model picture to a fish doll in the middle of the street isn't something I'd be particularly proud of. Okay. Well, what am I supposed to do? You know, I've never crossed that bridge, and I got there several times. I doubt a little elevation would alter my perspective on things. It probably could. Nah, I need her around. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, 
It's working. Hey, Lobo. I'm doing okay. Very tired. I can climb that thing, no problem. I just don't have a reason to. Not only do I have no use for it, it has no reason to exist. But... Fishmut's own. There, now I'm that one guy in the theater reading the title out loud. <laughs> I can climb higher than that. Easy. Then do it. Nothing to do with or about it. G'day. She's a carnivore. And smart enough not to touch lemons cooking. Keep that toxic sludge away from my whiskers, man. Ah, uh, okay. So I don't really know what to do. Guess we come back. That way. Looking forward to your break from school and kids. Yes. Next weekend, I leave for Washington. So, I'm very excited, but also not ready to freeze my butt off. Everything is still on fire. Of course, the hideous thing survives the deflagration. She cares nothing for art. You call that art? You have a point. <laughs> She's not into books. Says you. Do it yourself. You're the one with opposable thumbs. Can pick that one a up A very now. intriguing looking book. Maybe I should take a closer look. I don't know if this is something I need right now. I'd better take a look at it first. I just... A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. Whoa, convenient to say the least. Mental notes, sometimes examining items several times really pays off. Okay. A very convenient treatise on the order voodoo magic ingredients should be used in. So the eye even Whoa. looks different. Convenient to say the least. Ma huh. I don't think I know what I'm looking for. Some of the most fascinating books I've ever read. I personally and lovingly arranged them all in one book rack. All gone. <laughs> Such a loss. <clears throat> She's not into books. Says. All gone. <sighs> okay, so I guess that's all I can do here for now. I don't know why I'm looking at it again. I hate that thing. Of course, the... So I looked at everything multiple times in here. Okay. Um, I'll be flying over there. <laughs> and I'm going over there to see my boyfriend's family. Yeah, I had a very confused look on my face because I'm not sure. That's Steve, the gargoyle. What I'm supposed to do. We go way back. He's down with the vegetation, son. <laughs> He's into the herbs, bro. He's into the herbs, bro. He's all about them weeds. Them weeds. Steve is the silent type. They wouldn't like each other. Oh, okay. I guess we go back down. 
Go down. Oh, I gotta go all the way back up to do that. Well, if it isn't stinky, crumbling, wretched, repulsive old Darkham. The place I call home. I guess human beings will adapt to anything. I just have to walk down the stairs to go back to it. Well, at least it's not Fishmouth. Do I really like it here? You never really stop and think about it. <laughs> I really need to get out of this place. Permanently. Fair enough. It's that weird kid, Priscilla. Aren't your mom or dad around? No, they're dad and gone. I moved to Fishmith last month. Not a... Whoa! People can eat that is beyond me. Hi, Mighty Brat. And Chemist. Okay. Tiny Prince says his body was found headless on the street, so they named it after him. Charming story. Well, he can now quit while he's ahead. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> At least it brought things to a head. Is that, look at is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? Okay, well... Oh, okay, we can go this way. Void Smoker Alley. Never heard of him. Okay. So many different things oh, to look at. Look at the cute voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? On the other hand, who dared touch them? But they'd look great on that shelf near my bed. Don't you take them go for dolls. I'm more of a laser pointer girl myself. <laughs> These dolls are probably already voodified and best left where they are. Blonde lady. It's a nice looking blonde lady. Uh, hey there. Hello? Approaching lonely women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. I'm sorry, miss, but I feel this strange urge to bother everyone I meet and ask a lot of questions. I have no idea what you're <laughs> talking about. Sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I, uh, I have a B-shaped birthmark. <laughs> nice evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? I think I'm misrepresenting myself here. Oh, sure, sure. Gotta run. So run. I'm gonna talk to yep. you again. Oh, no. Nope. Gotta run. So Guess run. I can't, can't ask her what time it is. That's Jeremiah Orn, Old Man Orn's ancestor. He's practically <laughs> yeah, the father my of the Miskatonic Library. Yay. Thanks for the post-generational job opportunity, Jerry. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? 
No idea who this guy is, but his beard looks real tentacly. Huh. Is that a nose or a beak? Man, Darkham City Council is all weird when it comes to statue choices. Statues are a new... Okay. Uh, hello there? Password? Password. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> uh, hello there? Password? Swordfish. Too classic. Uh, hello there? Password? Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Big D. Good. Big D Street. No idea who this guy's either. <laughs> All right, let's look at the tiny Land print. Shark. Absent minded professor and big proponent of video games in general. Will forever be remembered for always choosing keyboards over controllers. Man, they'll just name streets after anyone these days. <laughs> at least he was into video games. Agreed. I'm sure this street sounds way naughtier than intended. Sure do. Thanks for supporting video games, Big D. <laughs> Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. <laughs> oh. Evening. It sure is. Yeah. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid. It's a taxi. Not a guided tour bus. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh yeah, brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. <laughs> you an investigator or something? Yeah, yeah we're gonna pretend. Make her one, P.I. Yeah, sorry, not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. Dang. So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What's she to you? I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. That's so creepy. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. I'm having a temporary memory lapse. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a lot of looking at things and I'm not really even sure I'm supposed to be doing. People really love plastering eyes everywhere. Did you know that the mere graphical suggestion of an eye can unconsciously make you more apprehensive? Okay. It's not real, Buzz. Get a grip, buddy. Can't. Don't wanna. That's some ominous looking flora right there. No thanks. I just went recently. <laughs> I'm not a weeds guy. Thanks. A weeds guy. They say the guy in charge is a real joker. I hear they've been having a bat problem over there. <laughs> Shout out to Batman. Nah. I can't go in here. The moon? Well, it's, uh, the moon. That's pretty much it. Okay. Nah. Nah. Black. 
It's really weathered, but I think it says park gate removed due to blasphemous activities in the area. Hop fence at own peril. We do not refund garments or pay for hospitalization. Fair enough. Kitty can't read. I'm learning real fast. Nah, we gotta keep the citizens informed. Okay. What do you mean, Som D who? Just Wikipedia, you slacker. They haven't been formally introduced. Are you they haven't been formally introduced. The Baron's not to be trifled with. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I did everything over here, I guess. Can I keep walking? Nope. Okay, I already did that. I already did that. There is a guy inside, but I can't quite distinguish his face. She's not leaving without me. Plus, we're both broke. Yay. A warm reddish orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. Uh, hello there? Password? Ken sent me. Wrong game, my friend. Uh. Hmm. Which one should I ask her? I got new things. Should I ask her if she got the same password? Or if she's just chilling? Okay, Wiz. I'm just curious. Did you get the same password I got, or is he cycling them? Oh, I got. Hey! You can't pull that trick on me, mister. Gave it a shot. Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. Nice. <laughs> but I keep losing intimidation. Should we go ask her like straight to the point or should we be more <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I want my spouse dead, so The first or second option. What should I do? <laughs> I'm gonna Can do the first. I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Now, wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm never getting married. So, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? Should I just be honest? I'm a librarian. Or should I be like... I'll I'm be a, a librarian. Oh, all right. Yeah. Then. <laughs> okay. Did 
is not. Maybe I should sound more like. I happen to be on anything for hire. Want to make an easy buck? I, uh, sheesh, I really can't this week. I have this cursed ancient tome and a talking cat to take care of, so, uh... I get the feeling you're pulling my leg, Buzz. Oh, you'd know if I did that. I'm, uh, never mind. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. Okay. <laughs> Gotta run. So run. So now I can go tell the taxi. Her name is, what was it, Merlot? So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What's she to you? I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I oh, watch her from it's afar. Margo. Oh, friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you your friends. Set up blew away all my custom alerts. What? Really? I didn't do anything. Sure. It's my friend Margo. Leave huh. it to me, Justin. I'm sorry. Line. I don't know well, what I did. Might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She... she's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction and return it yourself? This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Yeah, sure. Let me have it. Good man. Shay, you won't open it, will you? <laughs> Not only will I open it, but I'll spray paint its contents all over that wall with it. Your slobs is still set to electric kittens or same. Oh, okay, good. Sweet. Sorry, Justin. Option one or two. <laughs> Should I be sarcastic? <laughs> but I don't know if he's gonna take it literally. Not only will I open it, I will spray paint its contents all over that wall there. Huh, you kid are you. Here you go. <laughs> nice. I don't know. Some letters since you said email can be easily and start writing it by hand, but well, you don't want to see the result. Missing you. You're sending a letter. It's so hard to find words that rhyme with your lovely name other than cargo or embargo. I'll persist. So looking forward to seeing you. It hurts. You're the paramedic to my horrible freeway pileup. Yours intermittently but lovingly, Charlie. gonna be straight up like that I I'm gonna tell you Charlie sent me what the heck do it why am I trying to get into situations over here why can't I just hand her the letter a 
I'm scared. Should I try just being like going to my items and dropping it to her, or should I just say should I say that? All right, Margo, I'm gonna drop the act here. Charlie sent me. Charlie who? Charlie, you're a lover, that's who. Things are getting complicated, and he said I should take it from here. I need that password. Well, all right. If Charlie said so, the password is Fidelio. Fidelio. Okay, don't do anything stupid. Just stay put. I'm on it. Understood, Buzz. Oh, I do hope everything works Thank out you, fine. Thank you, Sudanay. Don't worry. I got this. Well, good luck in your endeavors. Goodbye, Buzz. And thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. <laughs> uh, hello there? Password? Fidelio. <clears throat> nice! I got in! Oh, what a, what a guy. It's an ancient voodoo chest. I can feel waves of eerie energy emanating from it. Okay. To be honest, it's freaking me out a little bit. That skull on top of it looks like nothing I've ever seen before. I heard cats absorb negative energy and transform it into the good kind, but we're not gonna risk her napping on that thing. It looks firmly locked. Hey, look, it's a double-headed doll. Okay. Made in San Francisco. Looks plenty fine to me. We all know why that's there, you sycophant. Bad kitty, that's called a tribute. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, these are Halloween skulls. Skulls are skulls, all right? Sometimes it's hard to get the genuine article. <laughs> I think I see some traces of glitter. Oh, totally unprofessional. Kitty doesn't care about non-edible decorations. <laughs> That's an oddly shaped skull. Reminds me of a Mexican guy I once knew. So I have a feeling him and cats didn't get along. No, I just disturbed the carefully arranged decor. Bananas. That ish is bananas. <laughs> I really don't know how else to describe them. Though she enjoys the occasional olive, Kitty's a carnivore. Looks like a pirate sword. Shiny. Take it. She's not crazy about blades. No need for that in this day and age. You don't even know. It's a pineapple. You're a pineapple. Ananas camosis, if you really want to know. Though she enjoys the... No thanks, I'm good. Oh, hey, yeah. isn't that... That's identical to Lemon's Mask. They must be shopping at the same Swedish furniture shop. Kitty isn't impressed by primitive art, or any art for that matter. Shut up, I'm a little into German Expressionism. <laughs> Sinister and appropriately illuminated. Well, they look more African than Caribbean to me, but hey... Kitty is an imp- Shut up! Well, that's strange. It looks both human and ichthyoid at the same time. Icty what now? Yeah. Fish like It's given me the creeps. It's not a fish. It's just fish-like. Do not want. I wouldn't touch it for a hundred bucks. Yeah, you would. Oh, okay, there's so many things happening. Ah! 
There are strange spiky vines all over this crazy place. He's really got a vegetation problem in here. Needless to say, she's not impressed. Boy, that and his is cell one phone. Awesome device. I guess it somehow goes with the ancient theme he's got going here. Kitty has no friends to call. I Dang. heard that. Dang, just put Kitty on blast. Wow, operator. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Hello? I've... That looks like an authentic voodoo throne. Given the lack of other amenities, I really hope it's more comfortable than it looks. I prefer softer surfaces. The wooden wall even has... It looks like a ship's wooden hull. I'd wonder about its presence here, but given the rest of the interior decorations... She doesn't care for anything water-related. What else is there? Oh, microwave oven of it. Wow. Microwave oven. Looks like a beat-up microwave oven. I guess Voodoo's somewhat keeping up with the technology. I hate those things. I heard they give you cancer. No joke here. <laughs> Not touching Voodified home appliances. You're lost. Oh, yeah, the magazine. And then I think I... Oh, no. The ponytail skull. Will be the only thing I haven't looked at. It's an issue of Bogue magazine. The headline Bogue. reads, The Fishmut Look. I'm sure I'm not into the Fishmut Look. Kitty can't read. Yet. <laughs> I don't want it. It creeps me out. He either died in the 1700s uh, or the 80s. The skull stuck to a piece of driftwood. Must have been a sailor or a mighty pirate. Who knows? Trust me, you don't want that thing. I can smell bad luck and misadventures all over it. Well, okay. Uh, hi there. Greetings, wanderer, and be welcome. Dang, I don't want to, like, disrespect his home. Should I just ask who he is? Or should I disrespect his home? <laughs> I don't want to be rude and get kicked out and I finally got in here. <laughs> Uh... Who are you? Who am I? Okay, oh, worry right. not. I get my share of amnesiacs. You are now in the presence of the voodoo gentleman. So, what do I call you? VG? No, that sounds a little bit too gangster. Voodoo gentleman will do. Thanks. <laughs> Sounds too gangsta. Yeah, was the password thing very necessary? Because I don't think it was. Or the whatever. Voodoo gentleman. You do voodoo? I'm Buzz, by the way. Hmm. You do at least remember what you came here for, I trust. Should I tell him about the book? But what if he, like, tries to steal it from me? Which option? Did I tell him I can't remember anything? Or that... I remember all right. And mention the book. I'll mention I the book. All right. It all started when I found this book. Well, to make a long story short, I accidentally put a spell on my cat, and now she's even more annoying than she was before. A spell, huh? <laughs> How'd you go about doing that, Harry? <laughs> I used this. 
vaulting voodoo fixins is at the 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 necronomicon in all its glory want to have a look see no 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 put that away Th that thing should not be touched oh boy oh boy uh, i'm sure glad i'm not in your shoes um i, I can't help you with your cat my man uh, there are some things even i don't mess with but voodoo but my cat but my cat Ugh, cats we never did get along what are the symptoms pray tell she kind of started talking oh look the cat speaks come one come all see the freak she's really unhappy with her current situation oh ye gods i've had this nightmare before maybe a pinch but there's no cold sweat how can this be it's real witch md well crap uh i i mean alas <laughs> Did I mention that my friend also got kidnapped? Or should we know, like, how he knew that it was the book? There's so many options this time. <laughs> huh. I'll mention oh, my friend. And a friend of mine got kidnapped, too. You don't say. Something tells me it's also Necronomicon. Burn him with a book. He was kidnapped while looking for the damn thing. I really wish I could help you out, but... Ugh. Was it a very close friend? We talked for like five minutes. So it was basically someone off the street. Aren't we all basically someone off the street? You sure are. <sighs> That's okay. I just bit my cheek on accident. Ow. <laughs> How could you tell that was the real Necronomicon right away? Most everyone imagines it all black, bound in human skin, bearing teeth. Only true initiates know it really kind of looks like one of those British sweater vests. You know, the ones with all the crisscross things. Yeah, why is that? I guess you sometimes just go crazy with the triangles and it just doesn't turn out as evil a design as you'd think. Still, <laughs> the content more than makes up for it. Pleasant colors, though. Yep, yep, very eye-pleasing. Yep. What kind of operation are you running here anyways? One that stays away from messing with the old ones. But it's just like a personifying curse. Those should be easier, right? You'd think. You're the old one. Can't you at least point me in some useful direction? Hmm. There is one person that could probably be convinced to delve into this kind of mess. Yeah? I was just getting into my intriguing plot development swing and you totally threw me off. Where was I? Oh, yeah. There's this avid student it's of the kidding. dark arts. An undercover intruder yeah, she into does the look Dagon mad. cult. A dear, dear friend of mine. A man mad and passionate enough to wade through the occult mysteries of the Necronomicon itself. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Did he just go there? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going for a dramatic pause. Uh, <sighs> sorry, I, I thought you were going for a, for a dramatic pause. But everything I'm saying is dark and morbidly fascinating, right? Oh, absolutely. Just a second ago, I really think I detected some goosebumps. Awesome. I've been working on my wording and delivery. Tell me more about this dark intruder dragon guy. Dagon, not Dragon. The terrible god of the murky abysses. The one who seems to have Fishmith in his clawed grip for decades now. Man, where do you get all this stuff? I am a student of the occult stuff, my greenhorn friend. <laughs> Plus Wikipedia. Wikipedia. So this Dagon's had Fishmouth in his clawed grip for decades. He's the mayor then. Worse than that, if you can imagine. But this is all hearsay, since most people have been just avoiding Fishmouth for years and years. I haven't talked to my friend in ages. Different cell phone carrier. That and little to no reception. About this dark student you mentioned. I'm really on the fence here about telling you more. 
this could be very dangerous. And men in red shirts are notoriously unlucky. Stop reinforcing the stereotype. Is this about money? Money? <laughs> no, I always seem to end up working for free anyways. Please tell me who the man is. Sounds like he's our only chance. It is with great difficulty that I even utter his name. You haven't yet. Not if you keep interrupting me. Are you sure you're ready to hear his worldly denomination spoken out loud? His name's gonna Hit be like me. Tom. I'm embracing myself. <laughs> his name is Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein kind of sounds like Joel Olmstein. <laughs> I'll hype him up. Bob Olmstein. Just saying it makes my blood boil and congeal at the same time. I know, right? It's just Bob Olmstein. So you're saying I can find Bob Olmstein in Fishmouth? Well, I was close, yes, I guess, Tom. Let it be known, I am not advising you to go there. Doesn't look like I have a choice either way. Can you tell me how I can track him down once I get there? Last time we spoke, he was staying at the Finman house. Gotcha. Just remember, we don't go to Fishmouth. Hey, but maybe I'm gonna... Everything about this guy screams voodoo louder than Jimmy would. That is quite the eclectic getup he's sporting. I know I'm supposed to be intimidated, but somehow I feel Schaefer around him. Schaefer? Oh, what a cute kitty. It's not that I hate cats. I just, I... How about I walk up and rub against your legs? No, no, I mean, no, that's okay. <laughs> I might just come and take a nap in your lap. But please restrain your animal. What if I lick your hand, huh? You wouldn't. You're right, that's gross. <laughs> okay, so I think we're all good to get out of here now. We have to go to Fishmith or something? Uh. -huh. She's just as grumpy as usual, but I guess it fits her. Is there nothing else I can say? <laughs> Bob Olmstein. Bob Olmstein. <laughs> All right. Should I give him this? Let her talk to him first. Should I give him this? Found this book called A Very Convenient Treatise on the Order Voodoo Magic Ingredients Should Be Used In. Think it might help? Maybe later in your adventure? Okay. Cool. Cool. Do like a soda. Pop. I'm not sure he's ready to taste fishmouth. What about a cookie? Mm, by the looks of things, it wouldn't impress him. Okay. It looks firmly locked. You are severely overestimating my lock picking abilities. <laughs> but if we gave it a cookie, I won't hide my cookie in a spooky voodoo chest. Besides, it's locked. What if we use the male we model? Curse the poor fellow, would we? Maybe. Fine. Yeah, I know. They had to really sit there and record every one of those. Oh, she's gone now. Who <laughs> tried to put a cookie in a locked chest? Me, Justin. I would try to put a cookie in a locked chest. They thought about me. <laughs> what if I gave the girl a cookie? Can I pick it up now? I can't reach it from down here. Go. Go get it. 
Hey, kitty, how about you climb up? Well, you gotta act. Uh, uh, nothing for now. I say, don't anger me. Come on, bud. Don't. Sh you mean that? Your heart is the tip. Don't try to flatter. Okay. I'm not scared. Can I give her a cookie? No way. How about a soda? No soda for kids, especially not this horrible kind. Whatever. How do I get to freaking fish miss? Moon, oh, moon, mistress of the night. Kerwin! Mr. Orn really likes his library covered in spiky vegetation. Can we cut it? No point in making her climb them. That would take a metric ton of scissors. I'm not cutting Steve. Not that I could either way. Probably not a good idea. What if I want to bring him to light? Hey, what the heck? I okay, said so this is not the way to go. that back into my house kid a has no use for that walled archway back then door now oh maybe i take the taxi to fish miss Taxi, yeah. take me to Finman House in Fishmouth. Yeah, <laughs> you need a clip it's of real it. Real funny. Let's waste a cabbie's time with dumb jokes. No, I'm serious. Take me to Fishmouth. We don't go to Fishmouth. I'll pay double. You can pay four times the fare. It ain't worth going there. You think Darkham's been strange lately? Wait till you get a whiff of Fishmouth. So let's get a whiff. Money can't make me go there, friend. Them fishy folks will scare the scales off an anchovy. Look, I have this suspicious cookie. Keep that thing away from me. Some darn hippie fed me one of those about a month ago. I was seeing tentacles and all kinds of ungodly things for a week after. You don't say. Can I interest you in an ancient cursed grimoire? Nah, already got one of those. And it's full of my wife's special occasion dresses. I have this stalking cat. We all got across the bed, buddy. Amen, brother. What can I do for a right to Fishmouth? Well, I do have a family problem needs taken care of, but, uh... Man, it's a heck of a doozy, let me tell you. I'm all ears. Uh... See, this cousin of mine, Ed, married a woman out of Fishmouth. Fishmouth, can you believe it? 
Name's Azaneth. Anyway, ever since they got together, every time I meet old Eddie, I get this strange feeling he's, uh, he's not himself. Always shopping for groceries, never goes to the ball game anymore, general zombie-like complexion, lack of will to go on. Well, that's pretty common from what I understand. No, oh, you unmarried folks always piling on the stereotypes. No, friend, I mean, and I know it sounds crazy. It's like she's looking at me through his eyes. Like she's the one inside, right? Whoa, okay. So where's he? Good question, buddy. I mean possession. That's crazy talk, I know, but I've seen it with my own eyes, man. Now, he ain't talking much, but from what he did say, he gets littler and littler time as himself every day. And I'm worried sick, man. Look, I don't know what your deal is, but get rid of Azanet for me, and I'll drive your butt to Fishbunch like it was nothing. Quest unlocked. Uh, I mean, deal. Okay, then. All right, Coda. We gotta go take out a lady. Are you ready? He, 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 we need the spell for him so I can hear him talk and he can be very sassy would you be sassy like Titty? no? maybe? you don't care <laughs> I love you you gotta help me on my quest Okay, but his license plate literally says Fishmith Bound. So, like, why am I having to go through all this trouble? Like, clearly. You got a license plate for it. I love him. I feel like you just see his little head above my uh, name bar. What are you doing? Okay. What can you tell me about Asenath? What's there to say? She's a creepy one, that's for sure. Looking like a darn fish if I ever saw one. I've been driving cabs forever, and I never heard of anyone else called Asenath in Darkham, so there's that. Hope that'll help you. Thanks. What can you tell me about Ed? Name's Edward. Edward Derby. He's my cousin. Supports the tentacles. Don't care much for light beer or garlic-based toppings. Thanks. That's, uh, very insightful. Okay, got it. Gotta scoot. Wait, so where would I find... that lady? Tell me again about Ed and Asenath. Ed's a normal guy, and I suspect he's being possessed by Azanath. Her, on the other hand, not normal at all. Fishy looking thing, and I mean that literally. Get rid of her for me, and the fish might we ride, son. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. Gotta scoot. Okay, so... Where would I go? Bye now. Can I go back inside? I'm 
to do? I mean, I got a pair of scissors, but for what? It's cute. I don't think she's be. Do I put the male model <laughs> poster up here? It wouldn't fit in. Looks more like a surf type. Like a surf type. I don't think I know what I'm looking for. You'd be correct. Ugh, a match made in hell. I know exactly zero voodoo, so that's a no. No way, I need this. I don't want to cut Mr. Handsome over here. <laughs> My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. Dead as... Well, dead. No use. It's dead. Well, then... They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. Okay, but... <laughs> He's really grumpy. Okay, so I guess I don't do anything in here. Wasted my time. Ever notice how philosophical bridges are? People come, people go. Ugh, friggin' thoughts, go away. Okay. Maybe we go back up to the library now? I'm very confused. I already did everything in here. Amazingly, none of the maroon books look damaged, die-hard, little... They're the last thing I need at the moment. That hogwash is the last thing I need right now. Well then... Bro. Kitty, this might be a weird thing to ask, but remember when I brought lady friends home? Yeah, those were rare enough occasions that I can remember. Oh, yeah. I see where you're going with this. I have no interest in that. All the kissy kissy sounds are just... Ugh. I'd tune them out. <sighs> Good to know. What's a bit harder to tune out are the audio olfactory clues to how your digestive system works. Or rather does so poorly. What? Ugh, just don't fart around me anymore, okay? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Dark comes just beautiful at night, isn't uh, it? No. Uh, you know, creepy <laughs> kind of way? No. no. <sighs> it really isn't. Still mad about being humanized? Very much so. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Still mad about being humanized? Oh, very I much mean. so. Okay. Just checking. Okay. What the heck? My freaking lady friend is gone now, so... 
don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm not scared. Or I think it's that little girl's fish doll. I'd hate to have him do my taxes. Okay. I guess I go back over here. I don't... I don't know what to do. Let's check out the tiny print. Uh, apparently, this guy was a struggling artist that aged naturally while his portrait stayed the same. What a lousy demonic deal. Huh. They haven't been formally introduced. These dolls are probably already voodified and best left where they are. I can't keep going. <laughs> Go back in there. Voodoo gentlemen, I need you to help me help someone out. Okay. Oh no. Whose life has the Necronomicon ruined now? No, nothing like that. There's this cabbie outside and his cousin's body is apparently being possessed by his wife, Asenath. It's like he, he swaps bodies with his wife against his will. Wife swapping? That's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, help me help his cousin get rid of this Asenath character. Well, since I can't help change your cat back, I might as well give you a hand with this possessing business. Actual voodoo freaking magic? My special brand of it, yes. We will need to craft a personalized voodoo spell. You're getting a platinum package deal here, buddy. I fear a fetch quest is in order. Ah. You need a doll. Well, that goes without saying. Then you'll need something that cuts, chops, or severs. And okay. finally someone... How can I put this... Attractive. We're oh, not I got it. talking chopping attractive people's limbs off here, right? So I just need to grab oh, the no, doll I outside. Have one motto: do no physical harm. Oh, oh, and uh, one more thing: you need to look up the order we will use them in. Got the book for that too. Okay, so I can... Found these scissors. Good eye. Found this picture of a male model. A strapping young man. It'll do. Found this book called A Very Convenient Treatise on the Order Voodoo Magic Ingredients Should Be Used In. Think it might help? It might. Have you read it yet? Not yet. I'll get back to you. You have some dolls around. Can we use one of them? That's my private collection, Buzz. No touchy. But I don't know where to get a doll at this hour. Oh, it's easier than you think. Like taking candy from a baby. Great, so I gotta go take the doll from the girl. Gotta run. I'll be here, Buzz. Okay, so I can't take the ones outside then. I'm gonna have to take the one from the kid. Unless maybe now I can take it. The Baron's not to be trifled with. These dolls are probably already... Alright, yep, I gotta go take the doll from the kid. Hmm. 
Nice doll you have there, Priscilla. This stupid old thing? It doesn't even look like mommy and daddy anymore. I don't even want to know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> so, what can I do to get that doll of yours? What the heck do you need a doll for at this hour, you creep? Never you mind, Priscilla. I don't want anything but my fishy back! I can't reach it from down here. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Really, Buzz? What's in it for us? Another doll in exchange for it. Your preoccupations are a constant source of wonderment and worry, but okay, we're quid pro quoing. Yes! Yes! All right, Miss Know-It-All, I think we need to have a talk about you helping out whenever I consider it necessary. Geez, fine. You were right this time, okay? Sheesh. So from now on, you'll help out when I tell you to? Ask me to. And that's a maybe. Let's say I'll be more inclined to. <sighs> I'll take it. All right, Priscilla, here's your fishy. Let me have the doll. <sighs> Deal, creep. This town, man, this freaking town. It used to be Priscilla's doll. It's my doll now. Don't you have to say that's so creepy. But cool, we did it. Found a doll. You mean mercilessly ripped from the hands of an innocent child, don't you? <laughs> All right, what do you want to call it? <laughs> Asenath. Asenath it is. Found this book called A Very Convenient... It might. Not yet. Oh, so I have to read it? Gotta run. I'll be here, Buzz. Uh, let's see. Okay, according to this treatise, I think the order we should use the items is someone attractive, doll, thing that cuts. Wait, what? Uh, let's see. Okay, according to this treatise, I think the order doll. we should use the... Someone attractive. Better talk to him first. Found this book called It Might. Yep. Oh. So, that was all of them, huh? Indeed it was. All right, now this is important. Which order should we use them in? It was this one, right? It was someone attractive, and then the doll, and then something that cut. Picture. Doll. Scissors. Alright, here we go. Jambalaya! Uh, Jambalaya! What just happened? Azanath just lost her head over some male model dude. I told you, I deal in figurative voodoo. Should have seen it coming. Do you think it worked? I know it worked. Thank you, VG. Enough respect, B. Did some good, I guess. Nice. So, everything seems to have worked out in the end, huh? Well, yeah, dubious not morality. Everything, but yeah, it's a start. Gonna go change Kitty back now. You do that. Please. See you soon. Not too soon, I hope. Let me open it. it looks firmly locked. Lame.
Heard from Ed lately? You. You're good. Nah, it was nothing. No, 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 no. You're good. You're very good. Just got off the phone with Ed. As an Eric left him for a male model. My God, I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Thanks. So, want to go to Fishmet? Want? No. no say, I, I don't want to, but we'll go. Friend. Get in. We're off to Stinkville. Hear that, kitty? Adventure awaits. I can barely contain my enthusiasm. I did it. Ah, you'll love it. Seafood as far as the eye can see. Oh, brother. Alrighty. Here goes nothing. Woo -woo. Nice. We did it. We'll watch this little thingy, and then I'll probably end right here. He's alive and shoeless. Oh, where am I? What happened? Okay, so I guess we're gonna be him now. But like I said, I, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here.